Hello my friends. Today I am going to review the SIG P320 X10 Comp in 10 millimeter. I'm going to start off by going over the specs on this bad boy. Then I'm going to tell you the five things I love, the five things I hate, and then we're going to go shoot it. So let's get started. This is the SIG P320 X10 Comp in 10 millimeter, which was released to the market in 2022. This pistol is designed primarily for personal protection and competitive shooting. It has a 3.8 inch barrel, an overall length of 7.6 inches, weighs 32.3 ounces, has a four pound trigger pull, comes with two 15 round magazines, and you can get an aftermarket magazine extender that increases capacity to 20 rounds. It comes with X-Ray 3 day night sights, which are dovetailed front and rear tritium sights. The MSRP is $799. This is the only 10 millimeter pistol under $1,000 in my collection that has three dot night sights. So the first thing I love about the SIG P320 X10 Comp are the tritium day and night sights. These bad boys glow in the dark. So if, uh, if you gotta defend yourself in the dark, you're gonna be able to see your sights. And that's pretty cool. The second thing I love about this pistol is it comes with an optics mount right here. If you've seen any of my other videos, I prefer an optic over iron sights because with not being able to see up close very well, an optic like a red dot allows me to aim better. Shut up. Anyway, yeah, red dots allow me to aim better with an optic mount. I can put a red dot on it and I'll be able to actually hit what I'm shooting. Without it, it's a lot harder. The third thing I love about this pistol is it's got these front slide serrations. Pistols have traditionally had the rear slide serrations for caulking. Having them in the front here gives you the option of racking your slide this way instead of this way. Not that big of a deal, but if you want to grab your slide right here to rack it, you have that option. Fourth thing I love about this pistol is it comes with two 15 round magazines. So that's an advantage you have when you get a double stacked pistol over say like a 1911 that only holds eight rounds. I like that about this pistol. The fifth thing I love about this pistol is that it is super easy to break down and put together. In my opinion, it's even easier than a Glock to take down. First thing you do, take out your magazine. Second thing you do, you lock the slide. Third thing you do right here, you push that down all the way over like that. Fourth thing, slide it off. Your spring, just like a Glock spring, comes out right here. Same with your barrel. Pop it out, boom. Put it back in. Put the spring back in. Put the slide back on. Once the slide is on, you lock it back like that. And you take that little lever right there and pop it back, release the slide lock, bam. Put your magazine back in, it goes back together. So really easy to take apart, clean, put back together. I love that when guns are easy to maintain and that's what you get with the P320. Now for the five things I hate about this pistol. The first thing I hate about this pistol, I feel like the muzzle flip is fairly strong on this. This pistol is supposed to be good at handling muzzle flip but for me, I don't think it's good at all at handling muzzle flip. You see, you got that slide compensator right there. Uh, your gases don't go out the, like you don't have a compensator in the barrel. It's, it's right there on the slide. So your barrel ends inside. Your, your slide goes over the barrel and then you've got this little part here which grabs some of the gas and pushes it up to help reduce muzzle flip. I don't think it does that good of a job. I feel like the muzzle flip is fairly strong on this. I think one of the biggest reasons for the really bad muzzle flip, the barrel is only 3.8 inches long. When you got a shorter barrel, it tends to flip harder. I hate muzzle flip. It makes it harder to reacquire your target. Second thing I hate about this pistol is the trigger. Like every other striker fire pistol, the trigger is squishy and it just sucks. It's, it's a squishy trigger. Here, let me... So you've, you've got some take up right there and then you hit a wall. 
after you hit a wall, you still have to push back some. It's not that much. I do feel like this is a better trigger than a Glock. A Glock trigger is more squishy in my opinion. But this one, you hit the wall. You don't have to go very far, but you do have some resistance. It's some squishy resistance and then it just releases. It's not like a, a wall and then a release, which is what I prefer. Like what you get with most 1911s or what you get with a single action revolver. You never get that with a striker fire, but it is better than a Glock. The third thing I hate about this pistol is that it is plastic. Sure, your slide is metal. Your entire lower is plastic. Now, interestingly enough, your magazine is metal. So you've got a metal magazine, plastic gun, metal upper. I don't like plastic guns. I prefer my guns made of all metal. You don't get that with this. The fourth thing I don't like about this, wouldn't expect it with a SIG. I get a lot of failures to feed on this. This doesn't have the most failures to feed of all my pistols. I feel like I get a failure to feed every magazine I shoot. And I don't like that. Some of the pistols I get two failures to feed out of every magazine. This one only one, but that's still one too much. I prefer it when my guns don't have failures to feed, when they work flawlessly. I don't know what's wrong with this, but maybe it just needs broken in, who knows. So the fifth thing I hate about this pistol, I don't know what's up with it, it might be me, but I'm gonna blame it on the pistol because it's convenient. I had a very rough time hitting the targets with this pistol. I think a big portion of it is the length of the barrel. It's a, it's a short barrel, 3.8 inches and the sight radius is pretty tight. With all the other pistols I've ever shot, I've done much better than I've done with this one. Maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. Maybe I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe it really is an accurate gun. It wasn't for me, so I don't like that. Um, I like a gun that I can intuitively use and you know pick up for the first time and hit my targets. And I can do that with a lot of guns. Uh, my Dan Wesson pistols, for example, I'm spot on with those, with this. Not so much. I'm spot on with my Glock 40. I'm very accurate with my Glock 40. Not so much with this one. Could be me, but I'm gonna blame it on the gun. Those are the five things I hate about this pistol. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, and if you value the Second Amendment, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That shows your support for the Second Amendment. If you like this video, I've got well over 100 other videos of me reviewing guns, shooting guns, and just having a good time, check out some of my other videos. Binge on my channel over the weekend and tell me which videos you like the most. So this is Rex. He's taken Groba for quite a while, so now he's gonna be testing out the new version of its muscle. And I don't take it the way everybody else does. <laughs> mm. I like to feel what I'm lifting. Okay. <laughs> wow. Before I started taking grow buff, I could never get my bench above 220. Oh, wow. um, that was always my limit. After grow buff, I don't have any limits. I just keep getting better and better. If I can get one, I'll be happy. <laughs> Let's see it. Nice. <laughs> Nice work, that was impressive. So unfortunately, the biggest dumbbells they have is 150 pounds. So you have to forgive me for going light today. <laughs> How are you feeling? I love it. So we had to add these weights because it only goes up to 250 pounds. So now with these extra weights, we're at 350 pounds. You don't have limits. <laughs> you think you hit a limit, and then next time you're doing more. Yeah. It's incredible. If you lift weights at all, you need to try this product. It's gonna up your game significantly. Give it a shot, try it for a month, see how you do. If you're stuck in a plateau and you can't make any more gains, or if you just wanna increase the rate at which you make gains, give this pre-workout a try. Company's clear path, the product is muscle. You'll get 25% off if you use a discount code, Cult of Arms. All one word, 
on put it down in the description so you can see it there check it out buy it if you use it as directed you're gonna fall in love okay my friends we got the sig p320 in 10 millimeter we got these bricks set up along with the rock we're gonna be shooting from about 25 feet away let's see what kind of destruction we can create wish me luck Got a failure to feed. Another failure to feed. Another failure to feed. So on this one, we've got the 20 round magazine. I'm not sure if the magazine is causing the failure to feeds or what, but we had three failure to feeds with that. Um, SIG, what's wrong? Is it the ammo I'm using? Now, uh, give me a minute, I'll set up some more targets and we'll go again. Okay guys, I had to change gun ranges, got kicked out of the other one. No, just kidding. Um, but I did have to change. So, we got some water set up. We're gonna try to shoot it from about 25 feet away. Let's see how we do. Well, you know, I missed a couple times and we had a failure to feed. I'm not sure I like this big magazine. I think it conduce, it's conducive to failure to feeds. SIGs are supposed to make guns that don't have failures to feed. So, don't know what I think about that. Actually, I don't like that. Great gun, love the sights, love the night sights, but I don't love, I hate failures to feed. That was pretty fun. Always loved blowing up bottled water. That just happens to be carbonated bottled water, which is more explosive. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some new targets and we'll go again. Okay guys, we got some still targets set up. We're gonna go ahead and shoot them. Wish me luck.
I missed a couple times again, but I think it shoots a little bit low, so I had to aim a little bit higher in order to get the targets. If you like plastic striker fired guns, this really is not a bad option, except for it does have failures to feed with this big magazine sometimes. If you don't need large capacity magazine, just use the smaller one. I think that one works a little bit better for me. You see this little port right here? So it's supposed to be a little bit of a gas port here, a slide gas port, not a barrel gas port. It's supposed to help with the recoil a little bit. I actually don't notice anything. I think it's just a gimmick. You know, I don't like that kind of stuff. So I'd rather just no porting. I'm, I don't like porting on any of my guns. I hope you enjoyed watching me shoot this gun and reviewing it. Uh, thank you for coming. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, and if you value the Second Amendment, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That shows your support for the Second Amendment. Also, come back and watch my videos. I got well over 100 videos shooting and reviewing really cool guns, full autos, military guns, all kinds of pistols, revolvers, even antique guns. Just the whole gamut. Go ahead and look through my library and binge watch some of my videos. Again, thank you so very much for coming this week. I love you, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.